squee ditch. Welcome back to our farm here again today. Today's first job, patch up a bit of bird netting that we have to do out there now and just get this job done and out of the way. This morning was absolute heavy, heavy torrential rain. And as you can see now, a few hours later, the sun is starting to come out. Welcome to Ireland. Bird netting. So what we have is this. We just have a hole up here now. And we have a hole on the inside as well that will just get sorted and that will keep it bird proof for another while. Looks a lot better already. No more holes. Now, we just have another hole now here above my head. This right there now, that we'll get sorted out. Now, no more holes. So that'll keep that going for another little while now. Not too bad. Changed it this year, black cable ties. We've always had white, so I said we changed it up a bit this year. We've spent the last two days down on our hands and knees, getting all these walkways cleared off. And they're looking a lot cleaner and a lot better now. And we were down our hands and knees here in horrible, horrible weather, awful heavy rain. So we got absolutely soaked, but they're all back to looking like they should be now the minute so that's the way we like them so our next job now is to come back up to the top now again and we're going to put our dividing pin down right here all the way down this bit so just another bit of pin knitting so we just dig out a little trench now here put up our pin knitting connected to here and connect it up to that pin that goes at the back back there and that way it'll just divide the mammy pins from the fattening pins. So we'll just get the mammy pin sorted out now so we'll get that near ready to go. So first thing is just to dig out a little trench. Now running all the way along here with our little garden trowley shovel thing. <laughs> so we just, all we need here is just about two inches just so the knit can go down and we can backfill it to just enough to stop snails from being able to get under the knit. So it doesn't have to be down that deep. So just about two inches will be enough of a trench now to dig here. And we'll just throw the soil back over the bottom of the knit then and that will act as a barrier. So that's the first job. what it looks like after. So our little trench now there, all dug out, all the way down to the far end down there. So we have our netting here and our posts. Now this is the roll of knitting. Now we won't need a whole lot of this roll, but we'll just cut off as much as we need now just to make that dividing pin. And these are our posts then up here that will be holding up the knitting. So we'll just go now and start preparing this and get it ready for that knitting. So the next job now is just to get a few of our pins down, just so we can hold it up while we stitch it onto this fencing right here, just so it's all connected and seamed down. 
So I'll just put a few pins down now here, just a few of them just to hold it up while we get to stitch that. And it's just as simple as that. These are designed where you just literally spike them into the ground, coming up. We'll have the curve here at the top, where this bit here goes into the top of the pin netting, and the pin netting then just runs flush with it down. So that's what we'll be using here now, all the way along. Just because this is just a divider pin for now, and in three months time when breeding starts after three months, we'll just come and take this pin back down. So they're just lovely, perfect stakes, if you call them that, to be using for this. Job now is just to roll this big boy out and get the end off him and bring it up there so we can start connecting it And our job now is to stitch this up right here. So it connects this to this original knitting that we have. So we'll just connect it up to the lines and then just stitch this down. And once that's done, then we're ready to start rolling it out. What have I learned doing this? Number one, I can't stitch and I cannot sew. So anyone looking for sewing jobs, don't come calling. So this mightn't be the prettiest you've ever seen, but we're getting this now stitched all the way down. So when you connect up these two, snails can't go anywhere in between. And then we'll come up to the top. Then we'll connect these two electric fences up here together. And you see the power then running all the way along. So we're still trying to do our stitching. So seeing we've that stitching done, it's just now time to roll out this knit now, roll it down and we get it to the other end down there. Now, so when we put the fence, when we put the fence up now like this, and we have it connected to where we sewed it, you can see now that's seamless. No snail now can get between them, so no snail can go from this pin into that pin until we take down this knitting. So you get an idea of it now running the whole way along to the other end there. So we have to refill now down the ground here, just packing this loose bit down the ground and we'll just put this clay now here back over it and pack it in and when it's packed in then the snails won't be able to go under it and with the fence up top snails won't be able to go over it so that keeps everything in this pin until we have enough babies to open it up and then we can move everything off down to that pin so you kind of get an idea now of what we're trying to do here it really is just like this now where we have the knitting underneath now and we're just packing it back down like this loose knitting here and all we can do with this now is just to hold it down and get all the other stuff packed in on top and by doing it that way then we just pack it down all the way 
down. So with the fins up from, from this side now here, running all the way along, nice and tight, everything done. So we're just out the last bit down here now. We're, we're just stitching this down now here and getting this as tight as we can until I can cut this bit off this side now that we don't need. Then we connect this electric fence up to the electric fence behind it and that'll be the connector for that. So we're just back stitching again. A job I love. So we finish this off now here and then after that we cut this bit off and we'll just tighten this up a little bit more and we're done. I know all you people that are good at stitching will look at this and look at the screen and go, oh good God, what's he doing? I know, but these now are just stitched up now here, all the way down to the ground, so nothing can go in this side of it here. No snails can get past here. It doesn't have to be the prettiest of jobs because we're going to be cutting these stitches later on in the year anyway and taking this back down so we can open up the whole pin. So it is kind of just a temporary job, really. So that's what it looks like now. We'll leave it like that and hope it's okay. And we'll just go connect up fences now and we we'll just get this job finished. So this now is the final result. So we have this section here now, just all sectioned off. And then this here will be a separate section. So this one here is just for the mammies at the start of breeding. So you'll see now when we come down, We've all connected up now and she's all up lovely and the electric fence is working because we checked it already. So that's her now divided all the way up. So at least that job now is done and we can move on to the next jobs. So the next jobs now are going to be just cleaning off this electric fence and the top of the knitting all the way around here. So I'll just show you now here. So as you can see, when it comes to winter time, you'll just get all this build up from rain and sleet and all the winter stuff that comes. So over winter, you just get this build up of stuff on it. So we're just going to go around now to all this electric fence all the way around and just scrub it up and clean it up and that way it'll be perfect and nothing blocking it and it'll be nice and clean. So we'll continue this on now and we'll finish off cleaning all this fence. And when it's done, then I'll come back and show you the before and after pictures. We have all these fences now, the whole way around here, now all cleaned off. We just have this one now here, all the way down here now to do. And once we get that one done, then that's everything here cleaned and back to normal. So we'll get this done and that's another job knocked off the list. Then we move straight on to the next job. So we're finally finished cleaning off the electric fence. It takes a lot, lot longer than you ever think it will. It took us a lot longer. So at least it's done now, so I'll be able to show you the before and after to how dirty they really were, to how clean they are now. And it's only when you clean them, you realize how dirty they were. So we'll show you now. So this is the before picture. And this now is the after picture, after being cleaned. So 
So you can see how shiny and clean they are now all the way along. And just by doing that now, you're just clearing off all the grime that's on them. So now when it comes to the power pulsing through, this is a way cleaner path and nothing is blocking it or in its way. So power should naturally just follow all the way through now. So that's the main reason why we clean them, is just to get the power working as best as we can going all the way through it. So that's that job done now. We move on to the next jobs now that we need to get done now, but we're getting very near ready for breeding now this year. So we'll get off, finish them, get our mammies ready and hit the road for breeding season 2022. The weather has turned a little bit here in Ireland. A lot, a lot of rain in a very short space of time. Even look at our road coming down. And you see the puddles and the floods. So today we've got the heavy rain, we've had thunder, we've even had hailstones earlier today. Hailstones in May. It's very cold and damp and miserable, but on the plus side, it's fantastic weather for snails. So let's go and have a look and see what they're up to in this weather. Yes, I'm out in the rain getting drenched wet so you can see snails moving. So this miserable weather is brilliant weather for snails. And you'll see them all starting to come out even in the daytime when we get this weather just because they love damp, wet weather. So I'll show you now here what it's starting to look like in the last couple of minutes to how much they wake up. So they're all right now, coming out, heading up the boards and coming up for food. And that's the main thing now that they're coming up for. But weather and weather and the more this goes on, the more and more that they're going to come up. So we've a busy little crossroads now here coming up with them. And you see them all coming up now here just to have a little bit of food. This fella must have his belly full, he's on the way back down. So the weather we hate is the weather they love. And even the other pin now here as well, the same way. You see them all waking it up. All waking it up and coming back out. And they'll just come all the way up to the top of these boards where they'll get their lovely delicious meal that they know is waiting for them. So we'll wrap up this video now here this week. Thanks a million for watching. If anybody wants to keep up to date on everything that we're doing here on our farm, just hit that subscribe button down below. We'll be back again soon with another video because we're getting nearer and nearer breeding season. So thanks a million for watching. Don't forget, hit that like button on the way out.